Welcome aboard, Skylark Outdoors here, and today we're going to review the Blackfin 25-2 DC, which stands for Dual Console. We're going to take you on a tour of this Blackfin 25-2, and then I'm going to go over the specifications. So as we enter from the rear here, you can see there's a swim deck and several rod holders, as well as then we've got the Dual Console setup, as well as more rod holders on the flybridge. Now, what I really like about this boat is even though it's a dual console boat, this is the exact same hull as the Blackfin 25-2 center console. It's got 200 horsepower Mercury outboards on it. However, you can outfit this with up to 450 max horsepower. You can go with twin engines or you can actually go with one single larger engine if you want. Now at the back, the swim platform is actually fairly large for an outdoor boat, so easy to get on and off. And then with these engines, you're also gonna have all the capabilities that you have with Mer Cruiser engines in terms of you can use the mechanical linkage or you can go full electronic. Back here, we've got our rod holders and you also have a gaff holder and then we actually have our live well back here. But what's nice about this boat with the dual console setup is that you really have a fishing boat at its core, but you've got the dual console set up for more space for when you wanna fish or when you wanna have more people on there. So underneath here, we've got a little cleaning station and sink and then a cooler. And then this seat right here actually folds down. So you've got kind of more like a day bed if you fold these all the way down, which is also another feature. And then back behind here, you've got some fish boxes. This boat also does have a head on it, and you can see lots of cup holders. We've got four right there on that side, and we're gonna take a look at the head. That's just a little storage compartment. I like that for phones and stuff like that. But this head is actually uh, fairly large in terms of this size boat. So you've got that for emergencies out on the water, but you can definitely fit in there and uh, do what you need to do without needing to return to port. Now, with this layout, I think one of the things that I like the most is that it does give you extra space in the rear and more seating. In the back, there's actually also a fold down seat along the transom, so you can sit probably two or three more people here. At the helm, you can see we've got the Mercury controls, a dual throttle, and you can also get a joystick control on this if you wanted, that is one of the options. And then you've got all of your electronics up here, your marine radio, your nav system, uh, depth finder, everything else. And then this seat does fold up uh, just kind of like a center console seat so that you can sit up higher when the bow is up and see what you want to do or have kind of like a standing position or you can sit down if you want. Up here there's a little bit of storage um, as well as this is for heavy weather. You can put that down and you can always put the um, cover on the front and then you're going to have less spray coming into the back of the boat here but it does have a self bailing cockpit. It's also nice too, if you've got kids, kind of keep them out of the front, um, just kind of separate things on the boat and um, keep water out of the back of the boat if you need to. You can see there is uh, snaps for Isinglass here. They've got a nice track so you can put Isinglass in there and really enclose this if you want. And it already has a piece for the Isinglass zips right there. So a lot of features on this boat to make it both a really comfortable family boat but also a true fishing boat. It's just in a dual console layout with a little bit different um, layout for people to enjoy more family activities instead of being a pure fishing boat. And I like these types of boats um, that are kind of a hybrid between the two. And we open that up there, you can see the windlass that is an electronically activated windlass. So you can pull up your anchor and uh, wherever you go. You've got a couple cleats up here, a couple cup holders. Up in the front, you could probably fit four or five people. Now, this boat is 25 feet without the engines. It's got a 140 gallon capacity. Uh, for fuel, it has 400 max horsepower and an 8 foot 10 beam as well as a 20 inch draft. It weighs 5,800 pounds with no engines. So imagine you've got 1,000 pounds of engines there and then uh, add in weight for a trailer. You would still be under 10,000 pounds, which means that most uh, trucks are going to be able to pull this uh, no problems at all. Now, the things that I really like about this are how they've got uh, this T-top on here or this canopy 
uh, all ready to go with the eyes and glass. You've got plenty of rod holders on the boat, both on the transom, on the sides of the boat, as well on as on this structure here. You've got some lighting there as well. And I just like these style boats because they have so much versatility. Yes, center consoles are amazing and they do make the Blackfin 25-2 center console, but not everyone is going to be a pure fishing sport boat. Whereas with this boat, you've got just a different layout to be able to take more people for when you're just going for a cruise and probably a more comfortable layout uh, for when people are going for a cruise. It always feels like when you've got one of these dual console boats, people tend to hang out in the back more and you can have more conversations and uh, maybe you're having a drink or a snack or whatever it is. And that's that rear seat there that folds out. And you can probably fit two or three people on there. Or maybe you're just going for a swim. It's nice to have all that extra space in the back of the boat. It feels like there's more space uh, if you're going for a swim and you get out, you want to dry off in a boat like this. Now, when you're looking at this, you might think, is it just as capable as the center console? And yes, it has a true center console hull. The only thing different about this is the top liner and that dual console layout. So you still are getting a deep V hull. You're still getting the same dead rise. You are still getting the same displacement on this boat as the other boats. You can see the fish boxes here. So plenty of fish boxes, just like you would expect on a center console for when you want to fish. And then you've got your kind of like little beverage station and cooler underneath there as well. And then they do have that storage up front as well as you could probably fit some skis or like a wakeboard in that forward hatch. And then I always love these style seats though that uh, you can lay out if you want to take a nap or something like that out on the water. Overall, my impressions of this boat, um, it seemed high quality, pretty well built. I like the ingenuity of the dual console layout. Um, dual consoles aren't for everybody, but I do think they offer a lot of versatility. Um, it's nice to have a head of this size on this size boat, 25 feet. Uh, you're starting to get pretty short to be able to fit a head in there, but that is perfectly usable. You just might have to scrunch in there a little bit. Um, so when I'm looking at this boat, the Blackfin 25-2 DC, I do think that you have a lot of options here. And you could definitely outfit this dual console to be a more fishing style boat. But then I have the option to have just more of a sport boat or a fun day boat. But, you know, if you get the eyes and glass for this, if you've got your cover on in the front, this thing is going to be able to take uh, seas just like any other Blackfin boat of this size. And at 6,800 pounds, let's say with the engines, still a reasonable boat to be able to trailer wherever you want to go. So thank you for watching this review of the Blackfin 25-2DC. This is the same size and hull boat as the Blackfin 25-2CC. So it kind of gives you an idea a little bit about both of these. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.